My name is Murray Lamahani and this week's muscle conditioning tip, we're going to be using our back muscles with a focus on our inner thighs. Now we're going to be doing that by using a Swiss ball and this thing called a gym stick, which is basically a fiberglass stick weighing 400 grams, a couple of bands on either end with straps that you either can go around the arch of your feet or your hands. So today I'm going to place it around the arch of my foot and I'm going to stand up. So I'm going to stand up and place the ball in front of me. So what I'm going to do now is just kneel down behind the ball, holding onto the stick and I'm going to roll myself forwards so I can place the stick on the floor. So the stick's on the floor, I've got my body weight of holding that stick in place so it's not going to move anywhere and my feet are still on the floor. So make sure you have a ball where you feel comfortable lying over the top. Today's ball is 55 centimetres. That's what I'm using today. All right, so I'm just going to shift my weight a little bit further forward so I can lift my legs up off the floor and I'm going to lift my legs up and down. So I'm just lifting my legs straight up and down. Now, you can start by just lifting one leg at a time. So maybe do eight repetitions on one side and then do eight repetitions on the other side. Using the gym stick actually helps place a lot more resistance on muscle groups that would be impossible to add resistance in any other way. Can't add a weight onto the end of your ankle and still have the same sort of sensation or awareness of what you do when you have a gym stick. So, you know, adding load with this exercise, the gym stick just makes more sense, right? So after you've done maybe eight repetitions on each leg, then go to the double leg lift. So I've got my feet together, lifting up and down. So now I'm gonna feel this, wow, this is a really strong hamstring exercise. Hamstring and glutes, and then it's gonna to get to my lower back. So I'm not lifting my body up too much. I'm actually not trying to lift my upper body. I'm just trying to lift up my lower body. Whew, this is intense, super intense, because you're not gonna only just feel it in your hamstrings, you're also going to feel it in your inner thighs because your feet are together. Yep. So the more your feet are together, the more you'll feel this in your inner thighs. So try and squeeze those legs together. Also, the gym stick I've got right now is a blue one. So its maximum potential resistance is 15 kilos. So what do you mean by maximum potential resistance? Well, check this out. I can turn that gym stick so the bands wrap around the ends and that will change the resistance in the bands. And I can do that as much or as little as I want. I've started off with no tension and it's plenty for me right now. Um, so it just depends on how much you wind up as to how much resistance you're going to be working against. You won't know how much resistance exactly, but it's more about what you feel rather than, you know, am I lifting five, am I lifting seven? Well, if your muscles are fatiguing, then you're lifting enough. Okay, so I would do around about eight maybe 16 repetitions of this, just depending on how I'm feeling. And if I'm teaching a group fitness class, it'll be approximately two blocks of music. And then I'm going to do this. I'm gonna open and close, open and close. Now you need to lift your legs up a little bit off the floor, so lift your thighs up. So now I've got my buttocks and my lower back constantly engaged, and I'm working the inner thighs on that in and out action. It's challenging, you're gonna feel this really quickly. And if you're not, add a bit more tension on the gym stick by simply winding it up. So, great exercise for the inner thigh. So I'm gonna do a little combination here. I'm gonna lift, open, close, lower. Lift, open, close, lower. So if you teach exercise to music for fitness, yep, you might wanna do eight repetitions of this. Down, lift, out, in. Now another alternative is to lift and bend the knees, extend the knees and lower. Now when you bend your knees, the bands actually get short so they want to snap your foot in. The trick here is to make sure that you control that bend. Do not allow the heels to just snap in towards the buttocks. Now control that bend, out and down. Lift, curl in slowly, take it all the way out and down. So now my quads are also going to get a really good workout with that knee extension activity. Yep. Your quads were going to feel it before too, but this one you actually feel it a lot more. And then we can do a little combination. So we can go lift, open, close, 
bend out, open, close, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So if you're a group exercise instructor and you like combinations or working with music, this is a really nice one as well. And what you're trying to do is lift the legs up as high as you can before you start performing that open at that out and in action and drop down. Wow, great leg workout using the gym stick on the Swiss ball. The ball just puts you in a nice position where you don't have to try and support your body weight too much. It's all being done for you and you can really focus on working the lower body. So it works everything, hamstrings, inner thighs, quadriceps, you've got your glutes on. So if you want to find out more information about this particular tool, check out my website, marianamahani.com or go to YouTube and have a look at the, my YouTube channel, Mariana Mahani, and you'll be able to click on playlists and see all the gymnastic exercises. It's super portable. It pulls apart in the middle. You can carry it in your luggage. You can purchase it from my website or eBay. And that's this week's muscle conditioning tip.